Welcome to Trifopraso, a town whose name literally means tree-speaking people on the River Pra. of time, water has dictated the pattern and spread of human populations across the face of the earth. Throughout the course of history, rivers have sustained millions of livelihoods and countless civilizations. Great cities and nations were established along rivers. Trifopraso, a town located in south-central Ghana, is also a town which developed on a river. Trifopraso is a town located about 215 kilometers east of its capital Accra. It has a population of about 10,000 people, most of whom are farmers and petty traders. is so called because it's located along the river Pra and its name literally means tree speaking people on the river Pra Many great cities and nations of the world were also established along rivers From the Egyptian city of Cairo built along the river Nile to the city of London in England, which is built on the River Thames. From Paris in France, which is located along the River Seine. To Seoul, Korea, located on the River Han. And also, the Malian capital city of Bamako, which is situated on the River Niger. Trifopraso in Ghana is likewise situated along the River Pra. Rivers sustain many towns and cities, providing drinking water, fish, transportation, and often serve as tourist attractions. Unfortunately, in the West African nation of Ghana, the River Pra, just like many other rivers in Ghana, has been destroyed by heavy pollution. This is what the River Pra used to look like. It provided fresh fish and clean water for Trifopraso and other towns. Today, this is how the river looks like. Muddy, murky and heavily polluted.
other rivers have suffered a similar fate. There are rich gold deposits along many of Ghana's rivers and this attracts many of the local people who engage in small-scale mining along the river, an activity commonly known in Ghana as Galamse. Many people from other countries also travel to Ghana to partake in this gold rush. Some legally, others illegally. Right here, this is where the gold is. This is why we're here. They use metallic mercury to separate gold from earth. This activity has caused major pollution affecting towns located along the rivers and has led to health problems like mercury poisoning. Trifopraso is also known for the cultivation of oil palm. It is the home to Trifo Oil Palm Plantation which is one of the largest producers of oil palm in Ghana. The Healing Jesus campaign team visited Trifopraso to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and to show the love of God to the people here. You may be wondering, why Trifopraso? How does the Healing Jesus campaign team decide in which city to hold its campaign? First of all, the evangelist visits towns where the Lord is clearly leading him to go. Also, the Healing Jesus team prayerfully searches the map for towns and will visit places to see where there is a great need for the gospel. Trifopraso, however, was chosen for a very special reason. Normally, uh, we, we pray and we ask the Lord to guide us to where should have the next crusade. Um, something happened to me some years ago. I was on my way to Niger uh, for a Healing Jesus Crusade. And I was driving from Takoradi to Kumasi. And I was driving, you know, in the middle of the night, after midnight, and I was driving alone. And somewhere in the middle of that very long, lonely, dark forest road, Something happened to my car. My car broke down and I found myself all alone in the forest, in a very dark place, and my car broken down. And I had no one with me and had no help. And um, another car came up and that car also had a problem. It had three men in, in it. And I asked one of the men in the car if he would help me. 
and I asked him just at the point when they were leaving. So the gentleman helped me and he spent about an hour with me and uh, helped with the car until everything was okay. And uh, when he was leaving, I asked them, where are you guys from? And he said, they are from Chifu Prasu. So I was grateful to the Lord for these guys who had come all the way from Chifu Prasu. I don't even know whether they were angels because anything could have happened to me that night. And so I decided that if I ever have the chance to have a crusade in Ghana, again, I would like to have a crusade in Chifu Prasu. So that is how we chose for Prasso as a venue for our Healing Jesus Crusade. Evangelist, do you believe in coincidences? I mean, three men breaking down exactly where your car had stopped at that time of the night? What went through your mind? I don't believe in coincidence per se. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the angels of the Lord. I believe in the grace of God. So I believe that God sent those guys to help me and to, to deliver me at that time. Because honestly, there was no one in sight and I, I saw no one, no car, no human being until those guys left and I drove off. And it was very, very scary. If you know that road, it's a very dark and lonely road. And there's forest on the left, forest on the right. And uh, it, was, it was really an experience. So. I believe that the Lord really delivered me from evil that night. So actually your campaign was to say thank you to the people of Chifo Prasso. My visit to Chifo Prasso was a way of saying thank you to the people and also to God for delivering me from death that night. Yeah. But they, they probably did not realize why we were there. The people of Chifo Prasso witnessed its largest ever evangelistic campaign when evangelist Doug Hayward Mills and the Healing Jesus campaign team visited the town. Thousands of people from all over the town and from surrounding areas gathered for three nights to hear evangelist Doug Hayward Mills preach the gospel of salvation and many were healed of their diseases to the glory of God. Preaching about the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. When you die and you go out of your body, your body will be on earth, but your spirit will be released. When you get to the gates of heaven, and you see Peter standing there. Now we say Peter, you know what? what are you going to tell him? The Bible says in Revelation chapter 7 and verse 9. It said, I saw a great multitude. Which no man could number. Of every nation, kindred, people and tongue standing before the throne. Every Amaini and Krone Kasa Hudwaninamu Ejina or Ohin Kasinanim. And one of the elders asked me, Where are these people from and how did they come to heaven? Now openima could be sa say I found a sound crop way free. Now we are done on metu or much me do strike. And he said to me, these are they who have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb. Wow. wow. There are some places you need NDC card. 
to enter NDC card or NPP card. Baby, what why this is on your NDC card and as an MPP card and send away to me. Yes, yes, in Ghana today. Ghana says, here, you know, there are certain jobs you will not get it unless you have NDC card or MPP card. And you may be a one yard, you will have a card that is on your NDC card and as MPP card. But when you get to the gate of heaven, and you say, Here is my NDC card. You are looking for NDC card. Now you say NDC card. In the gate of heaven. I will have a MPP card. And I have a PPP card. Or PPP card. Or CPP card. And I have a CPP card. Hey, do not help you at all. Oh, I'm well cried. Jesus said, Unless a man is born again, he can never, 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 never enter the kingdom of heaven. Never, no matter whether you are the DCE or president of Ghana, you cannot go to heaven unless you are born again. Now, yes, you say, say, young, who will be full fra? Unto me, 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 See me, Madam Fu. Jesus, you, you see, you can die a day you will never expect to die. Over to me, will die when in Nasa Ubeu. You can, Jesus can come, you never expect that's the day he will come. Yes, over to me, I will die when in Nasa Ubeba. That is why we have come to Trifo Praso because God wants you to be ready to, tonight. Tonight. And not in the Abba Trifo Praso, a ready person will hear Crado and Ajoya. This is your night. This is your night. God can see the differences. He sees inside your heart. If you are not ready, when you die, it's finished. You cannot come back again. Finish. The Bible says, He that is slothful in his work is a brother to him that is a great waster. Bible says, In Proverbs chapter 21, the Bible says, There is a treasure to be desired, and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spendeth it up. Now, Bible says, At the baby of a Japadia be of her, and said, Your condo, Naninina, your dear, or Yansani, any brainer, your Yakasiadia, or Saninina. Tonight, are you wasting your life? Everybody, look at my hand. Look at my hand. This is an opportunity. I came to invite you. God told me to show you my hand and invite you to come to him. Come to him. Come to God. Look at my face. Very carefully. A lot of people are in hell today. They had opportunity. They came for crusades. Crusade, crusade, crusade. crusade, crusade they went crusade. to church. Sorry. But they did not take advantage of the opportunity. Tonight. I don't want you to waste this chance. This is your chance. This is your opportunity to turn away from sin. To turn away from hell. And to come to God. But the Bible says the younger son wasted everything until he had nothing. Tonight, God is giving you an opportunity. Don't waste the opportunity. 
to write your name in the book of life. Don't waste the chance. You may not hear it again. You may not have another evangelist to come here like this. You may never get a chance to pray to God again like this. Today may be your last day. And God may be giving you a chance. Don't waste your opportunity. The Bible says that the prodigal son wasted his whole life. Wow. Wow. How many of you want the blood of Jesus to wash away your sins tonight? If you want the blood of Jesus to wash away your sins, stand up and lift up your two hands like this and I'm going to pray with you. Don't, don't talk to anybody. And lift up your two hands. Say this prayer after me. Say Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for tonight. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I know that I am a sinner today. I know that I am a sinner today. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I am lost. I am lost. I have done wrong. I have done wrong. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. For all my sins. For all my sins. Tonight, tonight, I open my heart. I open my heart. I receive you. I receive you, Jesus, Jesus. As, my as my savior, and my master. And my master. Oh God, oh God, forgive me. Forgive me. Wash me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. With the blood of Jesus with Christ. With the blood of Jesus Christ. From tonight, from tonight, I open my heart. I open my heart. I receive Jesus. I receive as my savior as my savior as my master as my master as my king of kings as my king of kings as my lord of lords as my lord of lords from tonight from tonight from tonight from tonight i am born again i am born again from tonight from tonight i am a child of god i am a child of god i will follow jesus christ i will follow jesus christ from tonight from tonight thank you jesus thank you. For saving, me today. for saving me today. I love you. I, love you. I, thank, you. I thank you. I praise you. I praise you. I'm, a child of God. I'm a child of God. Everybody will see that I'm a Everybody child of God. Will see that I'm a child In of God. Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. For seven years, this woman has been suffering from her leg. This, this is how she used to walk. Yes. This she, is how she used to walk. She was not even coming. Look at her. Oh. These are the sons of this woman. They had to carry her. She walked with a stick and you said, you cry when you see your mother. You cry. Why yes, do you sir. cry? Because always when I see her, I thought she might die in the shortest possible time. Because the way she normally always crying at times, you know it. The food will be there, but she will not eat. It. Mama, walk. Mama, walk. Let's see. months this boy has been carried by his mother because he's had a problem with the knee wow he could not walk he could not walk at best he could just learn for wow. months tonight when you pray the power of god came into the knee and he told the mother that the pain is gone he can walk he can walk This man had surgery, operation in the hospital. After the surgery, he could not walk well. He was limping. Was it, was it cut? Yes, it was cut. It was cut? Yes, please. Wow. 
He had the, the tendon at the back. This place cut. After you prayed, the power of God touched him and he's able to walk very well tonight in the name of Jesus. You mentioned that lambs were disappearing. Yes. She has had two years history of fibroids. She was going to have surgery today. But she said she will not have it. She will come to the crusade. When she was, when we were praying, she this, put her hand there. Yes. And suddenly the pain, the mass, everything is gone. Wow. It was hard before. Two years. For two years, this is the way he's been walking. For two years. And, and now, and look at what the heal. Nante call. Nante. This woman has had severe back pain. She could not even turn her body. Wow. Tonight, the power of God has that she's able to dance hey. and Shut bend. Up. Wow. Is it true? 14 years. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. She has to do what? She must lie down for her husband to step on her for the, for the, for the pain to go. Huh? Yes. Or she can sleep. History, yes. You have to do what? Yes. Step, 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 step. Extreme massage. Her husband has to walk on her. Which part of you does he walk on? My bones. Your bones? <laughs> yeah. This one is one of the most fantastic miracles when I have ever seen. Yeah. Somebody with Back pain, you said it's called what? Spondylosis of the lumbar spine. Spondylosis. Spondylosis. Her husband has to walk on her back. Every day. To massage, I don't know, to massage Extreme, or what? It's, it's, wow. it's, it's a form of massage. And she couldn't even bend her body. You could not bend like this. Sa, 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 sa. We at the Healing Jesus Campaign are so grateful to God for the opportunity and for the privilege of carrying the message of the gospel across the nations because a soul is a soul and is precious to God.